Buenas Tech Junglers, Felmar here. Welcome to Tech Jungle. Infinix has been getting and gaining more attention recently. We have been hearing the Infinix Note 11 Pro and Zero X Pro as contenders versus other brands. Infinix announced earlier its Infinix Zero 5G. It is their latest premium 5G smartphone. It brings 120Hz 6.78 inch LCD with a 5000mAh battery plus it has an attractive unicurve design. The packaging of Infinix Zero 5G is quite long and thick, plus it has a two-piece color design with black and silver. Inside the box, you get the 33W power brick, a USB Type-C cable, a pin ejector, a free transparent TPU case with decent quality, and the unit itself. The Zero 5G has an interesting design, specifically in the camera. It curves and slopes on the back surface. The back of the body is composed of plastic. It has a glossy rear surface and is prone to fingerprint smudges. The sides are smooth and curvy. Infinix calls this a unicurve design and it looks great. It is lightweight and it weighs around 199 grams and measures around 8.77 mm thin. The volume and the power button is located on the right side of the device. It feels tactile. The power button which also serve as a fingerprint reader. Button's position is in the right place which makes them easy to reach. On the left side, it has the SIM card tray. It can accommodate two nano SIMs and one micro SD for expanding storage. On the bottom part, there is the Type-C port, microphone hole, a 3.5mm auto jack, and a speaker grill. While on the top, it has only the secondary noise cancelling microphone hole. The phone measures a 6.78 inch Full HD display that has a 1080 by 2460 pixels resolution. It boasts of a refresh rate of 120Hz which makes scrolling and navigating the interface feel smoother. The side bezels are slim and the brightness can get up to 500 nits. Color's reproduction is unstable. It lacks some color profile, but the color adjustment is available on the display settings. HDR is not supported. It can only stream SD quality videos. The viewing angles are decent. The display panels needs improvement as it experiencing sluggish responses. You can choose between different modes of refresh rate from 60Hz to 120 There is an auto switch refresh mode available that tries to lower the refresh rate when it's not in use. As per observation, most of the apps and games are frequently locked in 60Hz. Refresh rate handling is good but still needs to improve. The Infinix Zero 5G runs on Infinix XOS version 10 that is based on Android 11. It includes more features and customization options. There are bloatware apps installed. The software runs smoothly with no hiccups. There's a lot of customization to choose, like the feature called Magazine Service for lock screen and a powerful team support for modifying fonts, colors, and more. The home screen includes a custom feed and a big folder to organize. You can tweak grid sizes, gestures, and notification badges, and many more. There are useful features such as multi-window, smart panel, social turbo, MOL, Xclone, Master Game Kit, and Power Assistant. XOS 10 skin is polished with a more interactive look and feel. The phone is equipped with MediaTek Dimensity 900 5G processor. It performs well, no stutters and delay when switching multiple apps running in the background. The Dimensity 900 is recognized to be the processor for gaming. Playing Call of Duty Mobile and Mobile Legends runs smoothly on medium graphic settings, but still you can set it to the higher graphic settings. The phone sounds quality during gaming is pretty normal. It has a single bottom firing speaker. Loudness is enough for listening to music and sound. Pond has a cooling system which they call it a heat pipe thermal module and a 3D cooling master. It monitors the temperature of the device so you can play without worrying about overheating. The Infinix Zero 5G has a 5000 mAh battery capacity. It works fairly well. I can record 12 hours of power endurance. It can provide more than a day in a moderate use like browsing and opening social media apps. For heavy usage such as gaming, you may have to charge it several times depending on your playing time. Charging takes around 2 hours to fully charge using the 33W power brick from 0 to 100%. The Infinix Zero 5G has a triple camera lens setup, 48MP main, 200MP bokeh, and 13MP for portrait, while there is a 60MP for a selfie on front. For actual usage, we experience unreliable results when it comes to exposure. Indoor portraits comes out sharp with good detail. Edge detection is poor but acceptable. Skin tones look natural. 
when it comes to low light photography, it performs not quite well as there are smudgy and lack of details. Using the night mode may help improve the image to be acceptable, recovering some shadows and highlights. Telephoto cameras do a better job. Image capture tends to have better and finer details. It looks more natural and cleaner. The downside of using the telephoto is it has a limited dynamic range. The phone can digitally zoom around 30 times. In the portrait photography shots, the subject detection and separations are average. The bokeh and effects looks decent. For a selfie, the image capture looks solid, and the details and colors are on point. The dynamic range is not bad, but it lacks autofocus. And portrait shots using the front camera are underwhelming. It tends to be overexposed sometimes. Using the phone for video, there is not much noise and better. Color rendition is better. The selfie video looks clean, and the details and dynamic range are solid. There is a stabilization across all the camera sensors and is limited to 1080p. The Infinix Zero 5G is one of the best budget 5G phones. It offers a solid, strong body and recognizable design. It has a great battery life with 33W fast charging, plus it has a 5000mAh battery capacity. Software is full of features and customization. While the cameras and display are not the best, performance is respectable with a 120Hz refresh rate supported. The Infinix Zero 5G retails for only 11990 and it's now available in all Infinix stores both online and offline. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon to receive notification. I'm Felmar and I'll talk to you next time.